Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday. Coming at you with Jaspie's 12 box NBA Buble mixer, the bubble mixer, with a couple good giveaways. Look at this. At the end of the break, we'll re-randomize everybody's names. New dice roll, new list, and all that jazz. Name on top, we'll get the Larry Bird, Julius Irving, Magic Johnson. Graded uh, PSA 5. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Right there. Look at those recent sales as well. And the second name, you saw that Zion up there, right? The second name down, we'll get a BGS 9.5. Uh, Zion Williamson rookie card. That's pretty. That's pretty good too. That's not. That's not too bad. Of oh, a giveaway in this little twelve box bubble mixer. A lot of good. I mean, you can get some nice stuff out of these boxes here too. Big thanks everybody right here for getting your spots straight up, and congrats to the winners right here in cello. We did four cello packs and they they went quickly. 40, 41, 42, three cello packs. That's right. Congrats. To those people there, thanks for getting in. All the all uh, thirty teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a two, five times for each list. One, two, three. and fifth and final time. After five, we've got Brandon down to Brandon. The spot he bought straight up and a spot he won. Three and a two, five times for the teams. One. And fifth and final time. After five times, we got the Pacers down to the Cavs. Now, there's a number of different years, so I would encourage everybody just to be aware of what boxes are in there and uh, trade at your own risk. All right, so Brandon with the Pacers, Mac McCarthy, Mike McCarthy, Coach Mike McCarthy with the Miami Heat, Stephen K, you got the Bulls, Oliver with the Knicks, Sean with the Grizz, nice. Francis with the Pistons, DJ with the Celtics, Danny with the Kings, Adam with the Wizards, Brandon Last Spot Mojo with the Thunder. They've been playing some good basketball. Zach with the Spurs, D Mun with my Lakers, John with the Warriors, Sean with the Jazz, Matthew with the Suns, Chris with the Trailblazers, Josh with the Hornets, Kevin with the Hawks, Danny with the T Wolves, Kim Soo Min with the Nets, Sean Maddock with the Bucks, Courtney, you got the Nuggets, Brandon with the Sixers, Zach Paul with the Raptors, Richard with the Rockets, Aaron. Pelicans for you with a spot you won. Brandon with the Clip Show, Danny with the Magic, Tice with the Mavs, and Brandon with the Cavs. Mavs, Cavs on the bottom. All right, so let's sort by column B. Let's box these up right here. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a trade, look at that. We got a trade, trade alert. So let's swing down here really quick. Let's make the font a little bit bigger. So Danny is out of the king spot and he's in the Knicks spot now. Put a T next to there for trade if you're following along at home, if you wanna see who draws first blood in the trade. And Oliver gets, Ollie gets his kings. Kings fan, so there you go. I think that worked out nicely. A lot of trade chatter, but no other deals were done. So let's go ahead and print and rip. Trade window has been closed. Let's do that. And remember, we got these. If you're like Joe, I got randomized a, a crappy team. Or I once we go through this, I had a bad break, Joe. Come on. That sucks. Guess what? We got a chance at these. Name on top, we'll get that. Second name, we'll get that. So two out of the 30 spots that we sold in this break will have a shot. At, uh, at those cards right there, which will easily cover the spot if you bought it straight up. And if you want to spot it, I mean, that's even even greater return. All right. So there it is. The 12 box NBA Buble mixer. There's everybody right here. Thanks everyone for getting in. There's the final printout. Happy Saturday, everybody. Thank you very much for getting in. Man, Brandon, we, we've been pulling some heat left and right out of the baseball, out of the basketball, everywhere. Hopefully that trend continues here. I guess we'll start with, I kind of want to get some of these, this bigger box out of the way, huh? Do I have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? 12, perfect. Let's 
get these um, these multi packs out of the way. Seventeen, eighteen, Donner's Optic Basketball cello packs, multi packs, right here. So, I think Boston should uh, should kind of have their ears perked up. Jason Tatum opportunities, among others, but as per usual with breaks like this, Vet Commons will not ship. Unless you're Giannis, LeBron, or Kobe, and second year Luka Doncic's. Otherwise, veteran commons will not ship. All rookies, of course, will obviously will ship. Vet parallels will ship. Vet inserts will ship. All inserts ship. And of course, the hits, autographs, and, and relics. Uh, baseball on in the background. Giants are up 2-0 on my Dodgers in L.A. Fourth inning, Kershaw still on the mound. Laboring a little bit, although he got another nice strikeout, though. A lot of basketball action happening today. Do we got? Should we turn on some basketball while we're doing a basketball break? Where is this Bucks mavs game? Oh, ESPN? Stand by, folks. We've got too much sports now. There it is, NBA basketball. No, no, no Sean tonight. He was here till like six in the morning today. He's not a robot, I'm afraid. All right. The Suns, are the Suns gonna snag an eight seed, ladies and gentlemen? Phoenix won 119 to 112, they beat Miami. We're, we're a pretty good team. My Lakers, who, who have locked up the one seed in the West, I think they took the foot off the gas. They fell to the, the, the Pacers, 116-111. to 111. In double overtime, Denver beat Utah, 134-132. to 132. Wow, that was looks like an exciting game. Clippers beat the Trailblazers, 122-117. to 117. So they, they lost, which I like, because I don't want my Lakers facing yeah, Chris Welty. Yeah, I don't want to see the I don't want to see the Trailblazers. No thanks. No thanks. And I finally got the game on ESPN. Bucks are up 73-62. Brandon saying that Mavs won a big run. We're down eleven, but now up nine at the half. But yeah, I'm definitely nervous. Uh, Lakers, it's almost like they, they practice not defending the three. Perimeter defense has been a difficult thing for the Lakers. And gotten even worse with Rondo out for another week or two and with uh, Avery Bradley opting out, which is understandable. He had, he had, I think he has like a kid with some... some uh, some respiratory issues, so he didn't want to risk that. I get it, but but yeah, that's just gonna sting. That's gonna hurt. So other guys just have to step up. That's, there's nothing nothing to do about it. KCP has to step up. I've seen him play defense before. You know, Caruso's got to step up. Everyone's got to step up. You know, maybe maybe playoff LeBron has to step up, play a little extra defense. But I don't know. I feel like the Lakers could beat the Trailblazers in the seven-game series, but I feel like they're just going to get real worn out, you know, going into another series. So not, they're not exactly the, the youngest team. Yeah. No, you're right, Chris. Laker, Lakers guards have, have nothing for Dame and CJ McCollum. It's going to be tough. And they got Yusef Nurkic healthy. They got that Collins kid healthy. They got Skinny Mello. You know what I mean? So there's some, there's some challenges there. I mean, really, yeah, Hassan Whiteside's on that team now, too. 
really, I think a lot of it has to do with, uh, you know, LeBron's going to do LeBron things. He'll be fine, right? It's going to be Will Will Anthony Davis, will he step up and, and dictate the pace of the game? He's got to be a little more aggressive, you know? He's got to be more aggressive with the basketball and impose his will on a, on a team, on any opponent. And then there has to be like some defense that has to be played, and then a third option has to emerge, whether that's Kuzma, Townhorn Tucker. <laughs> All right, good luck, everybody. 17-18 stuff, here we go. Devin Booker. He's been playing some good basketball. There's Deer, a fox in the box. Deer and Fox, rated rookie. That'll be for the Kings. Ollie on the board. There you go, Oliver. That's his that's his guy. Just a base. Frank Jackson. Sundarius Thornwell. Tony Bradley. Man, Josh Jackson, kind of a little wasted opportunity. Right? I feel like he was going to be, no, wasted opportunity, wasted talent maybe. There he is. There's Zach Collins. Sab. There's TJ Warren. That's not rookie TJ Warren, but man, he has been playing some great basketball, great bubble basketball. There's John Collins, Dwayne Bacon, Terrence Ferguson. Markel Fultz. We've got Sheldon Mack, Sig Series, Warriors. Or not Warriors, Wizards, different W team. Adam Kelly with the Washington Wizards. Giannis with the uh, purple, I think, background right there, purple border. It's a different parallel. Nice Giannis. Going to the Bucks. Sean, even those non-rookie Giannis's carry some value on the secondary market. Court Kings Giannis. Is Giannis on the screen right now? No, Spider-Man is on the screen right now. I feel like I feel like Dallas, if not this year, maybe next year. You know, if you if you get if you get Luka Doncic growing into a man body, right? I mean, he still got a little baby fat around him. You know, if we got healthy Porzingis, look at that aggressive move on Giannis right there. You got healthy Porzingis. You know, they they've got some outside shooting with Seth Curry. If they add a couple other pieces. Cuban will spend money, right? He can get some free agents there. You know? Another good draft? A smart draft. A free agent or two. Ooh. Okay, maybe upgrade on the outside shooting, says Chris Wells, he's there. But if you can get that...
All right, this is the exclusive stuff from 1718. All of these, of course, will ship. So we've got a Raider rookie, Zach Collins, and a nice Giannis right here to another Giannis. Uh, blue Velocity, maybe? I'm not sure what they're specifically calling this, but... All right, what should we do? Let's get that Mega Box way back there. Let's stay in that 1718 mood. David Downer saying, Knicks fans must hate watching Porzingis putting in work like this. Chris Welty says, I'm a Knicks fan. He's too soft for, in, for, the, for, the new, for New York. Is he too soft for New York? When you guys can get rid of Dolan? I feel like that guy just is, is like the, just hamstrings, hamstrung, hamstrings, the, the potential for the New York Knicks. He's not leaving, but I mean, you hear the stories about how like, KD and Kyrie didn't want to go to the Knicks. And then years before, like, you know, because of Dolan. And then years before, you hear story, little stories about LeBron and, and, uh, and, and Dwayne Wade didn't want to go to the Knicks and build a super team there. Such a great, great history for that team, but come on. Like, Dolan cares more about, seems to care more about, like, the flash of being an owner, like, yeah. and his band. I don't know. He, he's, he's, he's not gonna, he's not really, you know, working with the former, former stars. Nick's history is not really being taken care of there. Nice Donovan Mitchell. So, I don't know, but he's never gonna sell, right? Yeah. He's never gonna sell. That's the problem. Donovan Mitchell, rated rookie, Sean Maddock in the Jazz. Jason Tatum rated rookie. Nice. And that red yellow uh, pattern there. There you go, DJ. With the C's. There you go, man. Now, yeah, just in time. I think you have the you're 808, right? DJ's 808. Using the old the old 808s. That classic bass drum sound. All right, we got Lori Markinen. Lonzo, Ojale, all these rated rookies will ship. These are pretty cool. Okay. All right, well, what should we go? Yeah, let's stay in 1718, totally certified. Rex, what's up? You went through a box of basketball last night. Found a Siakam Select rookie. Nice. Thomas Bryan, who's been playing all right for the Wizards. Rookie. A Gary Trent Jr. Prism rookie. Oh, the SGA is really nice. And the Giannis, of course. It's a good haul. I mean, everyone should be doing this. If, especially if you've been breaking basketball with Jaspies for a little while. Like, dig through your old boxes of Jaspies basketball cards from when we weren't really selling too much basketball, no one really cared that much about basketball hobby-wise. Like, take a look, look, you may find some treasures, you know. Rex is finding treasures. I know Arthur Peru said he was digging through some stuff. Found a random silver Dirk Nowitzki. And he was like, man, Joe, when I got this from you guys at the time, dollar or two, silver, right? He's like, now it's like 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks. Jax, what's going on? All right. I don't know, we're just a, we're only a couple boxes in 808.
There's Aaron Gordon's 99. Giannis. So yeah, D Turk, what's up? So yeah, it, it's it's worth digging through your old stuff, ladies and gentlemen. There's Tyler Lydon, rookie roll call autograph for the Nuggets. That's gonna be for Courtney. Oliver, did you do a little clean as well and find some treasures? A Kawhi rookie card, Hard and Hollow, that sold for seven fifty. Not bad. And we got totally certified fabric of the game. Jeff Teague, nice low number. Look at that, four out of ten. T Wolves, that's going to be for Danny. Wes the Wounded, $2.99. Yeah, I mean, that's look look at what's happening, Rex, with uh, TJ Warren. Some Pacers players opted out, and now by default, he's getting minutes, and now he's shining. So now the, now the hope is that guys like TJ Warren continue to play. Let's go, should we go here? Yeah, let's go here. All right, this is 13-14. I don't know how much of an impact the NFL will have. And I don't think a lot of people, not a lot of players, have really opted out of the NFL season. I mean, only, what, less than 100 out of the hundreds of players that are in the NFL? 50, what's 50 times 32 or something like that? Right, plus practice squad people. I think basketball, just with just five players on the court at a time, or for uh, for each side, I think guys like T.J. Warren have more of an opportunity to make a bigger impact from the get-go. Football is a little different, I feel, unless it's like a running back, unless like Ezekiel Elliott lops out. I think with the lack of guaranteed money in the NFL, a lot of players aren't opting out. Carl Malone to 349. Arvita Sabonis. A little extra chalk on here. And there's Kevin Love, die cut for the T Wolves. And we've got, look at that. Look how young he looks right there and skinny. Giannis Antetokounmpo rookie card out of Panini Crusade. Someone look this up. Give me some sold prices on this. Bucks, Sean Maddock, who won this spot in a cello pack break, gets this Giannis rookie card. This could grade out nicely, too. That's very nice. Kawhi to 249. Dirk Nowitzki, Anthony Bennett, Joe Dumars. Raymond Felton to 249. Andre Drummond, Terrence Ross. And Zach Randall. That's a nice patch there. Grizzlies. That's going to go to Sean. Wow. Four to $900, says Ray Hughes. Six ninety nine says David Downer. A 9.5 listed at 1,700 Canadian. That's crazy. There's Olenek to 249. Miles Plumley and we got Ish Smith. Kemba to 349 for Charlotte. Bill Walton, Kevin Durant. Wait, Clayton saying that Giannis is 150 raw? 
There's Nate Thurman. One out of three. Golden State Warriors. John McCall with the Warriors. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Rashard Jefferson. We've got Walters and Beasley. Yeah, looks like uh, looks like Clayton is right. Uh, on July twenty second, that same Giannis sold for one seventy five, but graded a Giannis BGS nine five sold for seven hundred bucks. That's pretty. That's still that's still pretty nice. One fifty on July sixth. But a, but a PSA 10, 750 bucks. There's another raw Crusade rookie, Giannis Antetokounmpo, 180. Yeah, it's pretty nice though. 180 for another one, the same Giannis that we pulled. 160. In June, so there, there you go. But yeah, those are sold prices. I'm looking at 130point.com. Searching eBay sales, searching all sold sold items. It's not a bad price. All right, let's move into move into some of this stuff. I'm not sure what I'm going to close with. Maybe we'll go 1819 now. Maybe that crept up to 227 on August 2nd, says Mike Tower. All right, here's a, a hanger box of Donner's Basketball 1819 edition. So this is SGA and Mo Bamba, Trey Young, Luka Doncic here. Mo Bamba for the Magic. That'll be Danny. SGA, that's still Clippers edition, is rated rookie, so that'll go to Brandon. Triple J. These are the green borders right here. Not numbered. And then Donner's Basketball Blaster. Can you imagine that if Giannis starts developing, and I think he's been shooting outside a little bit more, but if he continues to develop, like a uh, seems like security tag here, if he continues to develop a uh, an outside shot, it's crazy. Crazy to think that he could get better. I know, I just, I just saw them break down the wall that they're using to stop Giannis. That's the thing, that's why Giannis needs to develop like a credible outside shot. And then, I mean, how are you gonna stop that guy? <laughs>
Lopez, Brooke Lopez missed that three, but isn't it crazy how Brooke Lopez just worked on a three-point shot and developed a credible three outside shot? I, I think that probably extended his career like a few more years. All right, blaster box. Clippers, SGA, Brandon. We got orange, Willie Colley Stein. No number? No number. Nice parallel, though. Yeah, you can't stop. Yeah. I guess when, yeah, I guess when you can get to the hoop in like two steps and there are like two dribbles from half court. Poor Ben Simmons. Out for the rest of the year. DeAndre Ayton been quietly playing some really great basketball, folks. He's been doing good. That's for the Suns. That's going to go to Matthew Shira. And what, Gary Gary Trent Jr., I hear, doing well? Chris, Trailblazers? I think there was another one in there, too. That'll ship. I mean, it's almost... There's Doncic. Nice. There you go. Mavs. Tice with the Mavericks. Luka Doncic. Was it another SGA that I missed? Oh, sorry. The, all the all those will ship. Those rated rookies. I'm just trying to catch as much as possible. Grace Allen. Rookie jerseys for the Jazz. That'll be for Sean. Derek Rose, Kevin Knox, Vanderbilt. Is Grayson Allen getting minutes? Man, all sorts of things happening here. Uh, let's stay in that 18-19 mood here. Donner's Optic Basketball. Another 1819 box, so more uh, Trey Young and more Luka Doncic opportunities. Good luck. You got to nail that shot, DiVincenzo. And he's going to foul that guy, right? Because now he's mad. <laughs> Giannis drives in, kicks it out to DiVincenzo. He misses a wide open three. He chases after that guy, and you know he's going to foul him. He's pissed. Like, Damn it. Uh, yeah, sure. Zach, I will, if I see one. The, the, the one vet common request of the day.
non-rookie TJ Warren, but there he is. He's been playing some good ball. Another SGA, Triple J, Mo Bamba. Bradley Beal to 65. Kevin Huter. There's the Trey Young, rated rookie. That's for Kevin, who was lamenting that there was no Trey Young in the previous box, but here it is in this box. Got to save those, those hollows. Colin Sexton. Where's Grayson Allen? We're talking about him. Johnny Cueto with no hitting the Dodgers through five? I feel like Johnny Cueto like kind of has a Dodgers number every once in a while, but wait till the Dodgers get to the Giants bullpen. All right, uh, what should we do? Uh, maybe I'll close with that Origins back there. Let's get some of this Prism out of the way. This is seventeen eighteen Prism, so we're going back in time again to seventeen eighteen. Yeah, I feel like Dan or somebody was 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 talking about there were some Simmons to Cleveland rumors, trade rumors, but like for for who? I feel like there is some some like next level numbers that kind of say that and maybe I'm totally wrong about this, but I feel like there's some next level numbers that say that Ben Simmons the Sixers offensive efficiency with Ben Simmons on the court is actually sneaky low key not good. He's good like as an individual when healthy I feel like he's good, but I don't know if he really connects with the with that team. And I don't know if that's a, a team chemistry thing, a coaching thing or something like that, but I feel like that idea has been kicked around a little bit, which is why I think they moved him to forward as opposed to point guard, I think, in the restart. There's emergent Donovan Mitchell, silver Tim Hardaway. Juwan Evans, silver. I guess we gotta save all these silvers. You never know what these guys can turn into. Goes to the Clippers. Still Clippers edition for Blake. And we got some purple. Is that Kings or Lakers? It's Kings. Deer and Fox, a fox in the box. That'll go to Oliver. Who, who got his uh, got his Kings in a trade. D Mun and David Downer is saying you would take uh, D Mun saying lots of picks and Darius Garland. David Downer would take Sexton, Garland, a couple firsts for uh, for Ben Simmons. It's interesting. Right? There, that 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 trade rumor is out there. Demon, though, is just like, listen, Ben Simmons, mad overrated. What would the, uh, what would the, the, the Philadelphia reasoning be? Oh, free up some cash for Philly? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Keep, they'll keep him. They want to keep him. Bead. 
Yeah, I don't think the, I don't think the surgery helps the Sixers leverage unless they just want to give them away cheap. Nice Tatum, base Tatum. Not a silver, but still nice. I feel like the Sixers are so we're so close. Like there's something there's just like they're like a step or two away, I feel like. You know, there's just a one or two clicks away from things just locking into place. Base Tatum. Celtics DJ with that one. 808 in the chat. Yeah, no worries, man. Thanks for getting in. You know, but like this season was a little weird. Like they couldn't win a road game to save their life. They were doing excellent at home. So something, something's not quite right there in Philadelphia. But like they're so tantalizingly close. Do they, do they say that every year? No, there are some years where they were just bad. <laughs> Those are just, as an outsider, there are just some years where they were bad. But I feel like this year to me, I feel like they're like, they're like, they're like a piece or two away. Yeah, since post, like, trust the process. They should have kept Jimmy Butler 116, but I feel like Jimmy Butler kind of saw what was happening in Philadelphia. He didn't like something about Philadelphia. You know, maybe it was a mentality thing. I don't know. Because remember when everyone's like, lols Jimmy Butler, he says he wants to win, and then he, w and then he goes to Miami, and everyone thought Miami was garbage, right? Miami's not garbage. They look pretty good. So, I don't know. Maybe just something didn't click there for Jimmy Butler. Michael Kidd Gilchrist. You want me to sleeve, that, sleeve this uh, Brad Stevens here? 808. The Brad Stevens Silver. Greatest coach of all time. A little bit of glue right there, which can be cleaned off. Maybe should have kept Fultz as Derek Bratton. Yeah, and that Fultz Sixers relationship was weird. Fultz kind of had the yips. There's Harry Giles. And then the Sixers were like, he's not healthy. And he says he was healthy. And then maybe Fultz messed around with his shot that summer. I, I don't know. They, that, there was something weird there, too. There's Pink Pulsar, Harry Giles, 1942. So, I don't know. Something's not quite right there. Nice Kobe, RIP. <laughs> Watch Embiid head to Miami. See, that would speak volumes about the Sixers organization. There's Derek White, Spurs. Zach Wynn, rookie auto. I don't know. It's interesting. Does Jimmy Butler really want to be the alpha, though? I feel like he distributes all right if he trusts the guys and they play, they play as intensely as he does. You know? I, I've, seen, I've seen him defer to, like, Kendrick Nunn and the, uh, the big three-point shooter there, Derek, and Tyler Hero. I don't know. We'll see. I feel, I feel like the Sixers are close, though. But, I mean, things can shift in the NBA so quickly. The landscape can shift, shift so quickly. Quickly, Only five players on the court for each team, you know? So, one or two players can... Ooh, nice move by Doncic. Good shot. Oh, Doncic. There's Donovan Mitchell. Rookie Donovan Mitchell for Sean and the Jazz. Dallas up 98-91. Nine and a half left in the fourth. A long three nails that too. He was like two two steps. Let's get that fly out of here. Two steps behind the three point line. That was a Jesus, the K 
it's so good. Luka, Don Luka Doncic doesn't even have man body yet. Do you realize that? Like, do you, like he's like what nineteen years old. He can't even have a beer. Like, he's got he has baby fat around him. Isn't that nuts? He's got baby fat on him. He's twenty. Oh, is he twenty one? All right, I thought he was a little bit younger than that. But time flies. All right, so now he can drink, but like. 21's still really young. I, he can he can still shed some some baby fat off that body. He can get he can get more fit. That, that that's crazy too. All right, this is also this is still seventeen eighteen. All right, so where are we here? Couple base cards on the bottom. Yeah, all right. Let's see what we got. We got Noah, Nerlens Noel, Paul George, Gordon Hayward. We got Zach Collins, level one rookie. We got Steph Curry right there. Latin, maybe? We got TJ Leaf, level 3 TJ Leaf for the Pacers. Dirk Nowitzki portraits to 175. Utah Jazz, Tony Bradley, fresh paint, on card autograph. Yeah, Giannis was the opposite. Yeah, if you if you look back on that Crusade card that we pulled in here, I'll do a recap at the end. Uh, there's Sean Maddock. He was really skinny, skinny Giannis. He bu he built up a man body too. Cavs forward LeBron James. That goes to Brandon and the Cavs. But yeah, Giannis was super skinny when he got into the league. There's out of 299. It's crazy, crazy to think that Luka Doncic could. Could just physically just get better. Sons, can you tell by the height and weight? Six six two oh six sons. Did you guys see the name? Six six is kind of short. I mean, I'm sure we can figure that out. Short for a basketball player. Not short to me. Guard size. Now Josh Jackson's kind of big, isn't he? He's Josh Jackson's got to be more than 6'6". Six, six. I think Josh Jackson was playing forward, perhaps? I, I don't know either. No, he's not that much taller. Josh, Josh Jackson's 6'8". Uh, it's, it's Devin Booker. Was Barkley 6'6"? Six, six? Barkley was not carrying 206, though. Yeah, we got to put a three in front of that, maybe. There you go. That'll go to the sun. Nice box hopper for Matthew Shira. All right. That's what we're giving away. The name on top will get this. Second name will get this. So if you're like, man, Joe, I've been getting crushed on this break. Remember, you still have an opportunity to win those. And we still have Origins, 1920 Origins left too. Jet is endorsing the Shakaroni pizza. What is the difference between a Shakaroni pizza and a pepperoni pizza? Like a standard pep. All right, and now we're into 1920. 
Donner's Optic Basketball. I think this is a retail box. So I think an autograph is not guaranteed in this. If I remember correctly, right? The orange boxes were retail. I think I have a box list here. Yeah, I think this is a retail box. Whoa, they I don't I don't know if I want that, Zach. It's just larger, it's just shack sized. It's bigger. More cheese and more pepperoni. Is it like extra large? Like what is it? What is that? Large? Extra large? I guess I could look it up. It includes Icy Hot and some general car insurance. Yeah. Someone told me that 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 when Shaq was was young, like the general insurance was the only insurance company that would insure his mom's car or something like that. And so now he does general ads for free. Something like that. Maybe not for free, but for not that much. Less his usual rate. Juan, I never would have known if you didn't, if you never told me. I don't mind. Do you watch the same TV show every day? Do you eat the same food every day? No. Right? Oh, bowl, bowl. Uh, the guilt got to you. It's okay. All right. There is Semi Ojale autograph. Signature series auto for DJ and the Celtics. Yeah, Shaq does sell. He's like he's like he's like Peyton Manning. They'll they'll just they'll just do everything. J-Dog, what's going on? Hola. All right, this is 1920. There's LeBron James Lakers edition for D-Mon. No, no John Morant, no, no Zion's here. Second year Doncic. I think Chris Welty said Mitchell Robinson he likes, likes his game. Ask and ye shall receive. Rated rookie, John Morant, hollow. Here I was whining about, just whinging about where, where, where are the big hits. There's one right there. That goes to Sean Maddock, who won this spot in Mosaic Cello 340, got randomized the Grizzlies, and the second to last box gets a John Morant hollow. I think, let's actually, I haven't, I haven't looked at John Morant hollow prices in a while. Let's go to 130point.com. We're not affiliated with them, but they do a good job. Donris Optic, Ja Morant, Hollow, I guess will be my search. Loading search results. Raw on Saturday, August 8th. That's today. 541 Pacific. That was two hours ago. Best offer accepted, $430. They were, they were asking five. They were asking four ninety nine ninety nine. They got four thirty. Another person was asking six. Accepted for seventy. PSA nine goes for five hundred dollars. PSA ten goes for eighteen hundred dollars. Mm. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. And there's the second year Dodge, which I think do okay on a secondary market too. Okay. Origins. Last break of the day. This, this box slides out, yeah. Or last box of the break, that is. I think there's a couple of base cards on the bottom, yeah. We'll use that blank card to hide some of the hits a little bit. All right. We got Aaron Gordon to 99, Magic. Danny. We got Cam Reddish for the Hawks, Kevin. We got Nasir Little for the Blazers. That'll be for Chris. We got Goga Batadze for the Pacers. He's even getting some minutes here. Brandon. Got Lonzo Ball for the Pels. I like the art here. The backgrounds, I think, look really cool. And the final two hits of the break, we got Rondé Hollis Jefferson. 7 out of 49. Origins memorabilia. That is Raptors edition going to Zach Paul. And the last one here is going to be R.J. Barrett, the guy on the box. Jersey and autograph. 92 out of 99. I feel like he still has uh, some great upside. That goes to the Knicks. Danny Connell on the opposite side of that Kings trade. Nice. Nice R.J. Barrett. R, P, and A. All right. No points or anything like that to randomize? Excellent. Good break. Thanks, everyone. Let's randomize this off to somebody, and then uh, we'll do a quick little recap. Let's flip back to the screen right here so everybody gets a shot at it. From Kevin and the Hawks down to Adam and the Wizards. And the top name is going to get the uh, the triple player one. And the second name will get the Zion. Nice. Good good deal. Good giveaway in this one. All right. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. A full 12 times. Top two names after 12. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 9, 10, 11. Good luck, everybody. And 12th and final time after 12. First off, everybody from 3 down to 30. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for getting in. Really appreciate it. And the winners, Zion, BGS95. Good subs. Goes to Josh Zetz. Josh, how many times did I call your name during the break? Zero? There you go. Edges are at 10. Centering. Corner surface at 9.5. That's pretty excellent, actually. All right. And the name on top gets the PSA 5 from 1980 Tops. Scoring leaders, Bird, Irving, and Irvin Magic Johnson. And it's Zach Gwynn. There you go. With a cello pack win. I, Zach Gwynn, I don't think I called your name too often, if at all, during this break. Maybe that one one Spurs auto or something like that. I don't know. But you get this one as well, which actually sells for a little more than that, to be honest with you, which is kind of crazy. Maybe not so crazy. Look at these guys. These guys are pretty good. All right, there you go. And then, yeah, here's another look at this jaw. Yeah, Josh is like, you said my name zero times in this break. That's why these mixers are great, folks. Still have an opportunity at this, even if you're even if the break itself was kind of bad. So there you have it. Quick little recap, I guess. Yeah, we've got an hour-long break. Quick little recap. Not not too bad here. And then plus a bunch of rookie cards and parallels and stuff that, um, you know, that I sleeved up that'll be top-loaded before they go out. So there's a lot. That Giannis was nice as well. I got to grade that, Bucks. Some Tatums, Mitchell. 
De'Aaron Fox right there as well. So pretty solid stuff. Great stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.